How's it going, Bronco? We just got going here. Um, let's see here. We are going to be going to... I think we're going to try to finish up Louisiana. It might be tough. I want to finish it because I want to start doing the trophy guides here. Hey, Fork. I think... And then I'll do a public lot or a random lobby if anyone wants to join in. What do we have here, even? So we need the unique bluegill. That shouldn't be tough. The red ear, which could be annoying, but shouldn't be tough. The small mouth is going to be annoying. Okay. And a common, common warm mouth shouldn't be too much problems. Alright, we should be able to get this today. I know it's only six or five fish, but uh, when you get down to the end here, guys, it can be a little on the tougher side. So why don't we bring... I, I would love to bring light poles, but we do need to get that smallmouth buffalo. That's going to be the hardest one we're going to get out of all of them. So I think we're going to run three Brutuses. I don't normally show you guys setups, but I figured I would show you this. This is why it's so quick for me to go to places as I use my templates. And we want to go to... I. I'd rather use a big Ali, but man, uh, that you need small mouth is going to be just too much for that, you know, big Ali, I think, for having all them poles out. So let's go with this. And let's pull leaders off. We won't need leaders. So that's, you can see, pretty much right away I'm good to go. Um, yeah, Thoreau will work. See, Jig Winter would probably be slightly better, but we probably won't need that. How's it going, Kelly? How's it going, Knives? You guys are in early. You guys are killing it here. Um, we're gonna go in. I gotta remember, which one do we want to go for first when we get there? Let's get the uni bluegill. Let's try to get a uni right away. And then we'll work down the list as we go. That's that's ye old game plan. We're gonna go straight to the bluegill spot. I love it. Pretty good day. Oh yeah, we're doing solid. Um it's Friday, so I'm I'm kinda pumped. I don't know if any of you guys watched. Did any of you guys watch the Farm Sim series that I have? I just did a ton of work. The episode coming out uh, would be Tuesday or Wednesday. It's going to be awesome. There's going to be a lot of stuff I worked. And then tomorrow's episode is going to be really good. I did that yesterday. And that's going to get... Uh, that's going to be... We're getting into cows on farm sim so all right let's go over to here let's go random room how do you get this many bait coins uh tournaments comps doing your missions missions are a really good way to get bait coins and now that they have the so you'll see it here today we'll get bait coins just for finishing up our checklist here too um, hopefully, let's hopefully finish this up. Shouldn't be too bad. We got one in room in here, so if anybody wants to join, they're more than welcome to. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go, we're gonna go try to go big on this bluegill right away. Normally I would use a six hook. We're gonna use a four across the board. And the obvious one if you guys haven't went after bluegill is going to be mayflies we shouldn't really get anything else besides mayflies maybe occasional warm mouth 
Do you know when they start the 4th of July event? It'll be a while yet. Um, I I would assume at the very end of June or very beginning of July. They're normally pretty... Normally you can go to whatever day they did it last year and it's normally within one or two days. So if you guys didn't know where I'm at, this is what we call the bluegill spot. Right here. Boy, number one, you can tell that's an old mark. I don't really go that small, big uh, hooks anymore with little fish. Um, I mean, I could, but... Uh, let's take a gander. Time looks okay. Let's rock 20. When in doubt, 20 is always a good depth. All right, and I don't know if we'll have anybody join us in chat today, so it might just be me. When is the update dropping? I have no idea. That's uh, It could be any day now, but I'm guessing it's more like a month away yet. If I was a guessing fool, I would say probably around the 4th of July event. But I don't know, so that's just a guess. Oh, man, and my headset was off, so... All right, hopefully you guys can hear a little bit better now. There's a bluegill. That's a good start. All right, next one will probably be a trophy. Nope, it's definitely not a true trophy. So, so what is everybody doing today, guys? Are you guys fishing? What game are you playing? Are you at work? What are you guys doing? And actually, I have a kind of a different little setup here for my phone, so I should have a much easier time keeping up with chat. This is a trophy here. I think. Yep. Ooh, that's a lot of ones. Can't throw that many ones at me. I might have a heart attack. Uh, just got off of work. Seen the stream. Thought I'd check in. Watch the oversized video. So thanks for that. Oh, got you, Rob. Got ya. <coughs> Playing tanks. World or a world of tanks? Is that what you're playing? They need to hurry up with the update, make the casting rods bottom rods. I'm hoping new map drops up to the fourth event, probably high hopes. Obviously, I'm hoping it doesn't drop at the same time as the fourth of July event for obvious reasons because when an event comes out, I am super super busy uh, normally uh, so when you drop a new map and an event out oh, jeepers it might as well go a whole week of me not doing anything but that stuff you know which is fine I like it but it makes it hard because if you guys are subscribed to the channel and you have the bell up and I'm putting out videos on the new place and the event I mean We've had that day, like uh, the Christmas event, I did 27 videos in one day. <laughs> and while that sounds good, um, you know, you lose subscribers because of the bell. Going to try wrapping up a Tuba River, but only have an hour or so before I need to run an air errand, so probably not going to. How many fish do you have left to, to get? We got one on that pole. Normally these bluegills bite pretty quick, but it does not look like that is going to be the case today. Maybe another trophy? No, just a big common. A big common. 
So one of the problems, obviously, is I'm using kind of big line for this. And that's going to hinder me a little bit, obviously, um, for these guys. But we'll kind of go with the punches here. Both the Uni Xander species. Well, the Volga is going to be a pain in the butt unless you get really lucky. Wonder what they'll change for the upcoming content sea vessels. I, You know what? I don't know. Um, I don't know what to expect with them sea vessel or the new boat. I don't know if it's going to be you and a friend. I don't know if it's going to be like a moving platform where you can have multiple people on it. And it's like a spawn point. There's a lot of things it, it could be. Oh, that's definitely at least a trophy. Alright. Now quit being a pain, blue, uh, bluegill. Get out of here. I guess I could have threw crickets on too. Guess in a million game, 99 pack, maybe $50. Yeah, I'm interested to see what it'll be too. Do we know what the e the ocean will be? It'll be East China Sea. But there's so many things that that could be. Because there's so many things along the East China Sea. It's supposed to be you and a friend able to fish together on your boat. Huh. I didn't. I haven't seen anything on that. That's interesting. I'll have to see if I can find any more details from Fish and Planet. Uh, just waiting for boat series. I'm excited for boat series, and the reason is, is I just, uh, have fun. Need some winter pike redemption? <laughs> I got you, Kelly, yeah. <laughs> How did you do in winter pike? I know you struggled, I think, on two of them, but I don't, if I remember right, didn't you have trouble with the last two? And you were close on one? My memory's not the greatest. I just enjoy chilling on the Draco boat sometimes. Ah, got ya. Yeah. The thing is so unmaneuverable, though. I, I like the Draco, but I like it for different reasons than you guys do. Uh, you know, I'm always fishing and in, in trying to find new spots. Second in qualifier and semis. Oh, got ya. Well, that ain't bad at all. You know what? Just for poops and giggles. Uh, it's been a while. I want to put crickets on one. Two. Let's see. Where are you, the crickets? Because I think I do have like a common warm off to get, and this could get both of them. Normally these are actually quicker. They're just getting unlucky right now is all. So for you you guys right now, what do what do you guys normally use for your boat? Because I know a lot of people use different boats in this game. I I like the color of my X series boat, so I use that one quite a bit, but I seen you. I seen you ding. Alright. Good talk, Paul. Good talk. Let's throw crickets on this one as well. Maybe we'll get a warm off. We only need a common one, so we could get that over here. My luck will get a trophy one though instead. Didn't start the finals till 11.28. Thought it started at 12. Didn't finish, or still finish like, oh, 12th with no response. Oh, then you did fine, Kelly, yeah. If I could share the information, uh, update information, I, I would. Oh, got ya. Yeah, right, Kelly. Uh, he's a bass boat except for at Congo. It's a Draco at Congo. Oh, got you.
Boy, I'm kind of shocked that this uh, bluegill didn't actually come out yet. Normally this is one of the easier uniques to get here. Sometimes you just get unlucky though. That'll happen. I don't know what you are is on that pole, but it ain't very big because it's barely even making a beep. Alright, we're going to get the crickets back off of there. Chicago Boat DLC Sonar. I don't use the Sonars, and this is why, because a lot of times <clears throat> I use the Sonars for depth. That's about all I use it for. I don't ever pay attention to the fish on it. I've always found it to be kind of misleading. Um, there's some places it seems to work pretty good. Thanks for the Congo Tiger spot. I've been landing both tiger fish lately on small minnows. Oh, got ya. Hey, Karina. Come on now. Hey, Adam. Knives, are you having any luck at uh, Russia? Uh, you are being a pain in the butt. I will right, we'll go a little bit longer and then we'll mix it up and go for the buffalo probably. Ordered a ton of lures yesterday, just arriving so I can go fishing. Oh, cool. Now, perch spot is the bomb. Made me a millionaire seven times over. <laughs> and not bad, Karina. We're just doing our Friday stream over here on Fishing Planet. And it's almost guaranteed to win comps. Yeah, it's a lot of fun, that. Not the now per that now perch spot out in the middle. I like it. You don't have to fish or you don't have to fight them either. I should have brought smaller rods for this. Trophy Xander, no luck with the unis. So not too long ago, knives. I put out a uni Xander video. In that spot, you were almost caught or a UD Voga Xander, in that spot you will almost always catch a UD Voga Xander, especially at night, because I spent 27 real days up there. And while the Voga Xander can be a pain in the ass, the other Xander, once you get a, once you fish a few days up there, you will really 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 uh get well acquainted with the regular xander all right real quick i forgot which one we needed uh let's see was it Regular warm mouth. You know what? We could mix it up. Let's mix it up and do some warm mouth and um, red ear. Fish planet and and um, call the wild messed me up because I get used to saying red ear over here for the red ear sunfish, 
and then over there I believe this is the mark right here isn't it Shider Warmouth should be a, a UD Red ear here too there we go Blood Red Worms we'll do Blood and Crickets uh, I want to get away from a little bit though. And then, so over here it's red ear, and then over there they got red deer. <sighs> so it has a tendency to mess me up a little bit. I will catch up here in a second on chat. I just want to get these switched over and the poles in. So we'll do crickets. Crickets. And then we'll do blood. Actually, I want to do crickets on. There we go. Give me a second. I'm going to do crickets on both the bottoms because I do not want to get a catfish. And then we'll do blood on these on two of the floats. Make sure I'm back far enough. So we'll put one back here. So we need the trophy. Uh, trophy red ear. And uni. And then we need a common warm mouth over here. No, it's not. How's it going, Kevin, by the way? Volga Xander, definitely not. Like, you guys are trolling. Uh, I should go a little deeper with these poles, but I'm, I don't want to hit a catfish here. I would tell you how my day... Yeah. Sunshine and Skittles. All right, where is... How's it going, business? Watch your video and a pretty digel so the dad diamond mallard. Oh yeah. Oh the TR wanna map follow deer hotspot for me is the east side of the lakes with the land mass between them. Oh okay, I'll have to try that out. It's wild that red deer like blood they just don't seem like predator fish. Well, honestly, though, even all the little panfish are predator fish. The only things I can think of that aren't are shiners. But, like, when you fish for, like, red ear or bluegill, in real life, they'll take minnows. See? This is why I didn't go lower. Because the little butt heads like this... I'm glad I didn't waste any time searching fallow to your drink zones, losing the red deer is bad enough. Oh, yeah, I got ya. Oh, here we go. Another channel cat, because they're asses. Unbelievable. I don't even have them that deep. There's a good one. There's a couple bait coins that I desperately needed because I'm completely out. This should be a common. Yeah. Throw these back out here. Put a tent and tripod in the middle of the land mass and hammer them. Uh, 
Oh, yeah, use a tripod for more than two. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forget about the hunting pressure. Uh, right here, we're trying to catch red ear and warm mouth. The warm mouth is kind of being a butt. That common should have came out right away. This might be our uni right here. There it is. That's a huge. If you were to catch that in real life, you would like drop your. You would you would just like completely have a heart attack. So now we just need a warm mouth. Is that it or no? No, that's a black crappie. Alright, let's uh, pull these up too. Oh, I actually thought it took off. My bad. We'll get these reset for the warm mouth. We only need a common. St on a cricket. You are greedy little bastard. Alright, we're gonna go one of them on red worms. Greedy little shit taking a cricket. I swear you see something new every time. Last week we saw some stuff that was interesting too. And I think we're going to go with crickets on the other one here. I'm feeling good about this. Dude, warm mouths are cool looking too in the game. Look at that green color. We just need a common too. That's the, the funny thing about this. Oh, wow. Jeepers. Business, thanks for joining the... The, uh... uh I, I guess the membership deal, yo. That's huge. That... That helps a lot. So, if, I don't... I'm really glad. I don't want to... I don't want to say this too much, because I get annoyed when people stream and they spend all their time talking about donations or thanking people for donations. Uh... But for you guys that think YouTube is a lot of money and makes a lot of money, it it don't, <laughs> it don't. Uh, so uh, these, a lot of the YouTube money I get, I put back into buying DLC packs when they come out to show people and stuff. So the channel membership thing is really cool when when that does happen. Um, there's a red ear. Uh, I'm afraid this is too big. And I will catch up on chat here. There's another dang catfish. Because they're greedy. I didn't know. And that was a common too. They're taking. Taking regular stuff. Or regular crickets. That's really interesting to me actually. White crappie. There's my warm mouth. Look how cool that guy is. I mean, they need a unique in here, guys. I mean, oh, no, don't hit that. I want to examine fish. I want to take a picture with it. Like, look how cool that is. There's no reason there's not a unique version of that. Oh my god, let me catch up here, guys. We need the $25 fishing tournament. Catch up, make it interesting. That would be pretty cool. How's it going, Amlo? What's my biggest catch for Warmouth or just in general is? And oh my gosh, thank you, business, for 10 gifted subs. Uh, 
Oh, wait. Uh, I gotta make sure that set it right. Sorry, guys. I've never had anybody give subs before, so I'm not sure how that worked. Oh, wow. Okay, so I see how that works. Holy crap. Thank you, business. That's huge. Yeah, this the war mouse are just so cool looking. Business, you, you're the first person ever on the channel to do gifted memberships, by the way. Ever. You're like the fourth member as well, too. Bergie, Holly, holy cow. Liz Pearson got it. Pull out recipes if anyone will catch the war mouth at Sufa. Yeah, that's, it's a shape that it's not in. I would love that, Rob. Absolutely need uni warm mouth. I totally agree. Uh, we are going for... Well, we got a couple of them. So let me catch up here, guys. Holy cow, Muhammad. Oh, it's random. Okay, got you. Okay. And Kevin got it, too. Awesome. Okay, so... Uh, that's really cool that it does that. I think it has one more to give out yet. Thank you. So if, if everybody wants, say thank you to business because that's huge, guys. That's so huge. Um, Here, Liz. Sorry, I never had that happen. I'm not a person that likes to take up chat with donations or nothing like that. But when it's something unique and never done before, I want to say thanks. So we're trying to finish our fish species list. We've actually already knocked out a bunch of them, obviously, and we're on our last two, but the one is being a pain, and a small mouse should be tough. So this next part might be a little on the tougher side here, guys. Wow, that's so awesome, by the way, business. I truly mean that. That is really cool. All right, we got to go this way. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy. So that right there has already tripled any donation that I've gotten from a stream before. So that's pretty cool. I've never, I actually didn't turn them on until recently. People were asking about it. And I didn't want to turn them on until very recently because I, I felt like it would take away from the channel if I did it. But I feel like now I'm established enough where, oh, let's get, let's be, we already got the, the trophies out so maybe let's up it up to a two hook here I don't like going this big with these where is my twos I just went by them didn't I and I uh, and then it, I felt it's a pretty cool thing to do for people uh, uh, was to keep donations off so they didn't people didn't feel like they had to do it I because uh, while it's cool to get donations, watching the videos is the most important thing. Not only does it help people get good information, but it also helps me. Um, where... What am I doing? I'm all flustered now here, guys. Give me a second. Catch up. There we go. Flay. We're going to do maggots on a few, just, just to do something a little different. I always like throwing something else on the poles, just to test and I do know they like wax worms and maggots kind of too you're all very welcome Dave is best kind thanks business I'm not the best but thanks I put a lot of work in it that means a lot uh thanks Rob in 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 Muhammad I know it sounds weird coming from American, uh, American, but Muhammad is actually a name I really like. Same with Ali. I like the name Ali a lot too. 
Alright, I feel like we might get a lot of crappies on these maggots, but I want to try them all. I'm behind. No idea what we were saying. Thanks for... We were saying thanks... Uh, business bought memberships for 10 other people and himself. So that's really cool. Never been done before on the channel, so that's really cool. You're from Malaysia? Oh, gotcha. What is my video count all games? Ooh. That's a super good question. Let me... Oh, my God. My, I will check here really quickly for you guys. Total videos... Give me a second here. I gotta grab this. Um... just under 3,000 total videos so essentially i have on pace for doing a I've done a video two videos a day for five years let me get the stream back up here guys sorry I just wanted to see for Kevin that quick <clears throat> yeah 3,000 videos probably don't sound like much but with 360 some days in a year 365 that's an average of two videos a day for five years ish. All right, so since we have some new faces in chat, guys, what is your guys' favorite lakes? I always love asking this question. What's the favorite lakes you guys fish in this game? And even for the old the people that have been around the channel a while, I want to hear your guys' too, because sometimes I forget. But I, I'm, I always like hearing what people's favorite lakes are. Oh, did I miss something in chat? Okay, I want to make sure I'm not ignoring people in chat on the game either, because some people say hi to me that way too. Emerald Lake. Hmm. That's an interesting one. I haven't heard somebody say Emerald Lake in a while for their favorite. White Moose or Rocky? Wow, these are, I'm getting some good responses off of this for you guys that didn't know. Like, I, I love hearing this, but we're getting some new, new ones today. St. Croix, Michigan. Um... Uh, St. Croix and Solange love catching a table, but the Congo is growing on me. Oh, okay. Got you, Kelly. St. Croix. A lot of Michigans today. That's cool. And White Moose. That's interesting. I, you know what? I'm pleasantly surprised there wasn't like 500 Congos. Um, I think you guys all know mine, but I'll say it just in case. I... Somebody once said that it was goofing around because I'm good at the northern maps in chat in one time and said King of the North. Um, and I do like all the northern lakes. Like Alaska, Michigan, White Moose. Oh, this might be it here, guys. This might be the uni. I'm thinking that's a uni. Look at that thing. That is a fat bluegill. 14 inches. That's better than a crappie I had in real life this week. Look at that thing. That's a monster. It takes up the whole dang pan. 
that is cool so we got that we just need the last one now this one's probably going to be the toughest but we'll get it brute gill oh man i love that name kelly <laughs> oh man also like willows willows is a lot of fun too and he had the most fun at white moose yeah that makes sense i like the white moose too well in fact i think next week guys we might what we might do instead of uh doing the re-catch them all stream i think what we might do is just go to each lake for a little bit and have a lot of fun and we can talk about each lake i really just dislike gent i think everybody will agree with you m it does serve its purpose in this game uh <clears throat> it's one of Ooh, i got hiccups it's one of the first places you can catch a lot of uniques or a lot of different types of uniques not a lot of uniques but outside of that it doesn't really have a lot to offer and i agree with that brute gill we're gonna call it i'm gonna call it brute gill from on now kelly what's the fastest way to level up depends on what level you are heck and actually next friday i'm planning on doing a a long stream so next friday i'm thinking i'm gonna do a six hour or 12 hour stream small mouth Buffalo. Hmm. <laughs> oh. While we're here, I want to try some new things for these. All right. Small mouth buffalo. I can't remember if it's to my left or if it's straight out. Nope, that's not it. Wait, where are we here? I'm not even... I'm all confused here. Give me a second. I went to the wrong spawn like an idiot. See, even, <laughs> even I make major dumb mistakes. There's a buffalo... And over here is the drum. We need to be the closer to. Alright, so this guy is going to be a pain. Um, just so you guys know. This is the one fish here that can take you a while. Brute gill. <laughs> T-shirts. <laughs> I love to go back and catch all the monster fish. Yeah, I, Kelly, I completely agree. That actually might be my favorite thing in the game is, is all that. How's it going, Ginger? Let's see. Oh, got you. I'm doing my catch them all stream. I, I won't... Uh... Actually, I did do a video for catch them all for anybody wondering that's watching. We're gonna <laughs> that'll be out Wednesday or Tuesday for the musky top and turn or comp, especially the mad eye. Yeah, my favorite. Yeah, what's everybody's favorite monster fish? Mine was definitely the grayling wrestler. I love that grayling wrestler. Um. Mayflies, we could leave on a couple. I forgot what what my marks say. I should probably pay attention because I know I've caught them before here a few times. Bloodworms, night crawlers. So let's do mayfly, bloodworms, crawlers. I want to try the mayflies. Um, mayflies, bloodworms. Let's get bloodworms on one. I'm afraid to night put night crawlers on this pole being a bottom rod. Um night crawlers on the float. And I, I guess night crawlers on the bottom. I just don't want a catfish. 
Outlaw Rainbow. Ooh, that's a good one. Tyrannotrout. The Tyrannotrout was cool because you got to catch multiple of them. I did like that one a lot. Honestly, I didn't. There's not one I didn't like, to be honest. Oh, you won Musky Toppin yesterday? Awesome. What's that? Oh, yeah. What lure did you use, Kevin? The Benga. Oh, that's a good one, too, Fork. They should do a renewal event for New Year's at least. Let's re-catch the monster fish once a year. Oh, Knives, that's a good idea. I like that idea a lot, Knives. Yeah, because then if you caught a small monster fish, too, you can get another chance at catching a big one. 100% agree. agree. Did people get the, the Benga the first time? I did, yeah, I did. That's why on the channel, I had to make a second video. I didn't even know about the second mission that comes up when you fail. Uh, you're little, so we don't need you, and we know you're a bluegill. This is a smallmouth buffalo, but it might be a little bit smaller. Hopefully get lucky. Yeah, yeah, Kelly, the one for the musky topping. I always use the Patriot Walker or um I use the Patriot Rop Walker. Sometimes I'll use that uh a major popper. You know, if that had been a unique, that thing would have come off like 10 times. But because it's a little crappy bluegill, it'll stay on for life. What is the emerald monster? It's a pike slasher. It's one of the toughest ones. I think that might have been the toughest monster fish for me. That thing took a long time. Trophy walker. Oh, okay. He won it with a trophy walker. That's a freshwater drum. Not what I'm looking for. I got the biggest too. That's a good idea always to do that. Enough trying for the Voga a bit. Yeah, the Voga, the Voga knives can be just, like I said, I've caught it once in like five minutes, and then the other time it took me 27 real days. And in the process of doing it, I had one of my friends come up there for five minutes, no lie, and catch him back to back at two different spots, and then left while he laughed at me hysterically. Some of you guys might know him. His name's Cat, or is Ian. I don't, my actually, my, oh, yeah, Quatchkin is super underrated for pan fishing. I feel like there's two really underrated lakes. I feel like uh, Russia is one, and I feel like Louisiana is one. I don't think there's any better pan fishing than Louisiana, and Russia, before they broke the oversized fishing, might have been the best place to oversize fish in the game, just because of the realm of open or the openness of what you had to catch there. What was the voodoo fish? That was a cool looking fish. Oh yeah, agreed, agreed. That was cool looking. 
Yeah, the perch bully was easy, but I think it was made to be easy fork because it's like the early lake. You know what I mean? It's meant to be like an opener to to um I feel like that's probably why. The voodoo burbot, yeah, that bit is a cool looking fish for sure. Interesting, I'm getting white bass over here. These things out. Bream and the blue bream and some of the roaches, if you're having issue catching them normally, if you oversize fish them, they come out really quick. They used to, but I'm afraid now with this update, they're probably not. A lot of white bass on night crawlers. I might have to remember that. Well, this might be half decent. A trophy white bass on night crawlers. I want to mark this. That's they're super consistent here. In fact, I have to do the Trophy White Bass video soon, too. I'm going to test that spot out more. Oh, that's interesting, Knives. They used to be kind of tough to get there. Everyone's favorite event. Mine's Halloween. I, I, well, I don't know. Christmas is pretty good. When the, I don't know, white moose at Christmas is pretty cool. It, it's probably a tie. Halloween or that. I love going for Black Vampire Guard here. I also really like going for fish up at white moose when the event's going on. They're just so much fun. The new Halloween was awesome. Like, yeah, agreed. Music gets annoying at Christmas. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I could see that. How's it going, real? In fact, now that we're talking about that in general, I uh, we were talking about the arc or the Grayling monster. I actually think that might be the Graylings in the game might be my favorite look uh, favorite looking fish. They're pretty cool. The Volgazander is also really cool looking. <clears throat> Halloween gar fun, but they make me wish we had uni alligator gar. A hundred percent agree. Hundred percent agree, knives. Whoa, is this a uni bluegill? There's no way. Yeah, I was gonna say I've never caught a uni bluegill here. The fat trophy though. Of course, this one fish is gonna be super annoying. You need small mouth, or you need a small mouth buffalo. Yeah, 
Yeah. I I don't disagree with you at all. Uh, um, I like the gar fishing in general. I don't like the gar tournament, but I only don't like the gar tournament. Um, well, one I've already gotten third in it, and then besides that too, I I I feel like there's a lot more things they could do besides that. If that makes sense, they could have a bunch of fish with teeth in that one. Oh, these things are being, this thing is being an arse. I think about putting a hook size just a hair bigger. Hey, good luck using Kamu Kamu and the orange fruit thing, Jahari. Here seems slow, but the bite rate singles them out. You know what? I'll throw that on one. We gotta wait for the poles to slow down here, but watching cats with crankbaits. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Try it, see what happens. Yeah, it's called Catfish Trial Reel. Do you do a one short, one long comp? Yeah, yep. Actually, we made a guide for that one not too long ago. It's a lot of fun because you never know what's going to happen. You can catch a couple good fish in it, you can catch a couple bad fish. tell what size that is on that pole. Interesting. All right, let me we let me go cycle over. I like your game plan here. That is something I did not know. Let's do a 1 0 on Kamu Kamu. Since we know that seems to be doing more of that. And then we'll put this one on Bloodworms. That was a good little tip. Real. I want to see if I can get the uni on a combo. Yes, potluck. What do you do for? What are you doing for your weekly on Monday? Oh, okay. Give me one second. We'll look at it right now. It is going to be total weight. 
at Amazon. Everything but the three big fish. No paramba, no arapaima, no sharks. Ah, uh, I don't know. It might be have rod stand on it. A ba they need to set a bag limit per day on beluga. It would help a lot of people at that level. Actually, I I do agree. In in in, I I don't know if in real life if you can't keep them or, or what because. Over here we can keep sturgeon. So I find it interesting that they have a thing on beluga and eel. Like, people would want to take eel home in the first place. Got it in like 15 minutes. Oh, nice. I really hope we... I'll be honest, I hope I get it on that, because that might be... Oh, that might be a... Oh, that might be a common, never mind. Ooh, it bites not bad, either. I can't tell if this is a trophy or a common. Oh, there's a trophy. That's a trophy. Alright, we're switching up. We're going Kamu Kamu and all of them. I like this. We might have another trophy over here, too. Oh, this is, uh... That's a, that's a drum, though. Alright. That is interesting. So, on the poles that didn't have Jahari, or Kamu, we're going to put Jahari on them and just see what happens. That was a good little piece of info. Do I not have Jahari with me? Wait. Do, do, do. I do not. Kamu Kamu it is on every pole. You get Kamu Kamu. You get Kamu Kamu. I feel like Oprah. Everybody gets Kamu Kamu. Let's try this out. Let's see if this happens. Is eel good? I don't know. I've never, I've never ate it before. And I can tell you, in this game, it is not a lot of fun to fish. I like the challenge of it. But when you fish your eel in the game, you know it's an eel right away because it has the wake above the water. So it kind of ruins the surprise of a uni. You know, you can instantly tell what it is. Although I guess I kind of guess what stuff is before it comes out of the water anyway, but... They should have a custom painted, painted boat or clothing options. Unmatch a Draco boat when the Guards Glory Pack outfit. I still wear that. Oh, nice, Rob. I feel like... I agree. I think that'd be cool to do your own outfit. Everybody has basically the same outfit otherwise in this game once they get to level 80. Oh, and then I didn't even switch time. What an idiot. So we were catching them. Rubber tree seeds. Haven't unlocked them yet. Oh, got ya. I mean, it's good at focusing them so far. I don't even think I got a drum on them. The drum was on bloodworms, so... I'm stuck dressed as a man. I think you can change your genders. I don't know. I haven't actually done it, but I think you can switch from a man to a woman. I think. I could be wrong on that. 
I might be tacking up my butthole. Yeah, you don't want to be stuck as a man, M. Are you are you male or female in real life, M? You sound like you must be female. You don't want to be have nothing to do with a male. I want to change. Here, I could check quick. We'll we'll check. Uh, let's see. Oh no, it doesn't look like you could. Unless it's at the main menu. Maybe it's something you can't do at the lake. Dr. Pepper Gale. I'm gonna assume female then. I could. <laughs> So definitely a girl. Well, you never know. There's a lot of people that like to play with the opposite character in the game. Uh, I got friends that play always as female on Conan so they can look at female butt. It's in the overworld? Really? You made me think you were talking about... <laughs> Fish and Planet, or, or Minecraft. Oh, and I forgot to advance time again. What an idiot. Watch Road Rory do musky topping and glitch and didn't give him a count of... 13 all that would have won it. Oh, there was he what did he catch it on? Alright, now I'm gonna actually remember to advance time here, guys. Huh. I don't know then why it wouldn't have counted it. Yeah, that's super weird. Yeah, I don't know why it wouldn't have counted it, Fork. It must have been something up. I've never seen the game in a it mess up like that in a comp before. I have in a tournament, not in a comp, though. Especially one that's been out as long as that. Makes me think he didn't have, like, the right stringer or key net or whatever it was. You you could use a UK home Xbox settings. Conan is X-rated. <laughs> yeah, I think... Over here, we can have everything but the junk, which is fine by me. I don't really care to look at junk anyway. Poor runner on the pike comp last week. Pulled out one second too late. Oh, wow. Alright, this Kamu Kamu is... I, I want to get the unique on it now, just to... Oh, this is solid. Trophy? Trophy are big common. Big common. Huh, that's weird. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it gets a little floppy. <laughs> I'm glad I don't see that, Kelly.
Come on, Uni. Don't be a butt nugget. Let's do it right now. Let's settle our differences and you come out of this water right now, damn it. Or I'll turn this boat around. Come on, let me reel. Holy crap. I thought you said the bite rate was slow on this reel. Yeah, I'm assuming if, if he saves the clip and sends it to Fish and Planet, they would do something about it. Definitely, I, I feel like they would. Have you heard a date on the Emerald Coast DLC yet? I can't find anything even on the the website. No, I, I have not. Not even a little bit. I am super interested, though. Real faster, then. And I want to see if I get on a 1-0 or a 1. That would be the curious thing. Because now that you can thin them out. It's nice to not have to wonder what you're getting on the pole, though. I will say that. This little butthead. They usually drop two weeks after the reel, but there's absolutely nothing on it. Yeah, no, I agree. I think it's because they're working on a lot of stuff at the same time. Uh, I think that might be... Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, man, just under unique. I actually had my hopes up for that. That's all your fault, Rio, that that wasn't a unique. I'm calling you out. Because no stream next week due to holiday. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Never tried Kamu Kamu for but either have I. And it is working really well. Real, did you did you say uh, that you caught a uni on this with Kamu Kamu?
21-121, hook size, bottom rod with Jahari. I swear to God, you're going to make me go get Jahari palm fruit. Zero one. Next fish I catch, I'll check the I'll check my map. But you did get the uni on Jahari palm for real? Swedish holiday. I think it'll take, I guess a few devs are from there. Oh, got ya. Okay, got the uni on there. All right, let me check the 21. I'm guessing that's right over here, if I remember this map. That's close to where I'm at. 17. What's the mark where I'm standing? Oh, it's uh, 24, 159, or 150. So, 21, 121. So, it's literally... Alright, so I'm going to readjust here, guys. Give me one second. I'm going to grab... Actually, we got a lot of weight. I mean, that's not too bad. Alright, let's back out real quick. Let's take the... Let's grab some Japari palm, palm fruit and put on that on a couple rods as well. Just under nine kilos. Flinter Scarecrow would hint at it by now. Yeah, I'm not as well tuned. You, you guys are talking about Kyle Wild. I'm not as well tuned with the community managers and stuff like that over there. Um, let's see. Let's grab our... I know I have it because I just took it out recently. I used to keep it with me all the time. And the second I take it out, then it wants me to use it. What's that? Crackhead. I didn't even know you could use your PS4 controller in 5. How's it going, John? That's the three bigs for Dave. Call the wild. Oh, the big devs. Oh, got you, got you, Lady Legend, but she gets on my nerves. You caught your Union Nightcrawler's knife? Yeah, that's what I caught. I caught mine on Bloodworms in Wide well, Look. I know I've caught it on Bloodworms, Nightcrawlers, and Mayflies before. Bloodworms, Nightcrawlers, and I've caught it once on Mayflies as well.
All right, have a good one, Ginger. This has got to be a trophy. Anjahari right away. Hmm. When's the next weekly comp? Monday. Monday, Monday, Monday. Yes, I had a tree to bait his hook. <laughs> I wish. I ain't that good. <laughs> It's uh, hard to tell in these small mode buffalo because they don't really fight a lot. And I almost wish I had brought my smaller rods because I could have definitely used... A big Ollie would have brought these in. A uni would have fought, but I don't care. It's a uni. It's on. I should have switched them while I was old, but... It is what it is now. we got to live with the consequences. I am really interested to see this out now, real. I want to see you. If we get a uni on this. This is a common. What is it? Yeah, it's up right now, actually, John. Um, After this, after I get these pulled in, I'll show you. Okay, that's not a uni. That's not a uni. You can't catch a big mouth buffalo in Fish Planet? Yeah, you can. It's that blue crab. Yeah, fork. Yeah, what fork said. It's a blue crab. Yeah, I just put it up, I think, yesterday. It's a uh, total weight at Amazon Maze besides the three big fish. Oh, weird, I googled it, I just said, oh, buffalo. Oh, oh, yeah, that's because the smallmouth buffalo are so more, much more popular, because they're here, they're at um, Lone Star. Where else are they? I thought there was one other place smallmouth buffalo are, but I could be totally wrong on that. want this uni and not even just want it to complete it I want to see if this really works that well it's already working better than normal stuff I kind of want to put bigger hooks on oh got you um yeah um what hook size is this? Two O. Oh. 
Yeah, we're going to go up. We're just going to see what happens. Yeah, that's a good idea, real. 14 off for good measure. That's not such a good idea. I was talking about your previous idea. I'd love to see the New River added to the game. The New River added to the game. What, whoa, wait, what river was that, Rose? I just see New River. I haven't seen a name on it. Oh, it's at the call. Oh, got you. Oh, got you. Huh. In West Virginia, I did not know that. If you're trying it out real at Lone Star, I would you use like number sixes for your hook size. Not six O's, just sixes. See, as soon as I put bigger one hooks on it, it slowed down quite a bit. Did just show up one day. I like that, Kevin. <laughs> I think them two O's might have been not a good idea. That's not a good sign. <laughs> um, are we getting more on Kamu? Oh, we are getting more on Kamu. Okay. Interesting. Let's drop this back down to a one all. Huge. I think it's a Mesozoic. Oh, God, yeah. Locked out the front door one day in Wawa, New River. <laughs> yeah, it'd be a hell of a surprise. You just walk outside and your driveway is just now part of a river. <laughs> It's always the last fish in every lake that is a pain. I couldn't have got lucky and caught this right away. I had to sit and wait. Or if I wasn't streaming. If I wouldn't stream, it probably would have came quicker. I'm surprised it hasn't gotten any catfish here in the Kamu Kamu. Oh, that one looks like it might be it. That might be it. 
we already got the trophy. Unless there's two trophies here. And it's staying underwater. That looks like a uni. That's a uni, baby. Wow, that is going to be a new video. So, Kamu Kamu and Jahari. Wow. Let me set the mark. Uh, let's get rid of this. We're going to go old school. Take these away. We're going to put this one down. And... Apparently, I just had to bitch about it, <laughs> like in tournaments, and that was 20 inches down. All right, first of all, you're getting annoying. Let's just grab you and pull you in. So it was in my old spot that I use more. So, uh, let's see. Number one, 20 inches down. Or Jahari. Oh, I did that wrong. No, I didn't do that wrong. I, had, I don't even know. I'll have to check it in a second. make sure I'm spelling it right. Now that sounds dumb, but I am super annoyed if I Oh yeah, I did have it. Okay. Yeah, I did have it right. Okay, good. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome sauce. All right, have a good one, Knives. More catfish, though? Yeah, it's weird, real, that I didn't catch anything here but catfish. In fact, I'm going to take a screenshot of this so that when I do the video... I, I never knew about this. This is, and you're going to get credit for this reel in the video. I didn't know about this. Near the roses. Actually, I can show you. When we go over there quick, I'll show you. Um, let me just make sure I have the clip saved, because that's the one I'm probably going to use for the video. Since I've caught the uni here of like four or five times, I know the spot is good, but now I know this focuses out like that. I, I'm going to make a new video and then pull down my old one because this is so, that's a lot more specific. It's, you're targeting the fish you're going after and that's really important. So we're done at Louisiana. So let me pop out. Candy works. Nice. Oh, and I forgot to take a picture. That's okay. I can go over here and grab it. For my thumbnail of justice and truth. I think I've finally lost my marbles, guys.
I can't remember what my big one is. I thought it was right at 20. Yeah. So take a picture of this. Let's get it a little bit sideways. Like so. Hmm. That's pretty cool. All right, so I'll go to Lone Star really quick. So at Lone Star, there's two really good spots for them, real. And I'll show you real quick here, guys. Um, right here in this deep hole, I like corn, and then over here, right here. And I generally use corner peas for them. I would not use a number one. I think I was marking that spot one for him. I almost always use a six actually, but I'll leave fours on it for now. <laughs> this guy's level one. Should I do the stand in front of him thing like everybody does when they're little? Or when they're first starting out? Be funny too if this guy was like watching my video. And I was standing in front of him. That'd be really cool. Night 18. Wait, 19. 19. 35. Oh, yeah. That does not surprise me either. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do I, ha wait, how many marks do I have? No, oh, well, I'll just leave that off there. The reason I'm not surprised, because, because basically all the deep spots, if you see, that's part of the deep hole, that's part of the deep hole. And in fact, Mad-Eye Buffalo, I caught mine right out here, I think, when I did catch it. Do all lakes, weird holes I fished, emerald at the dock before the corner of the ray, only seven feet out with catching walleye and pole pike fairly often. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yep. Stand in front of, in front thing makes characters like serial killers. Oh, God, yeah, yeah. Definitely killer vibes, yeah. Oh, apparently he's just got the massive... What is that massive fish? Who a regular red here, son. That is doing it. That pole bent over like that was the freaking now perch. <laughs> oh, looks like that guy... Oh, he got tired of me. He went over there. I was like, man, that guy leveled up real quick. Uh, so, just because it's been an awesome stream, we're not going to end it. We're going to actually do another... We're going to start another lake here, guys. But I do need to have a cigarette first. But this has been one of the best streams I've had ever. Not because of the donations, just because the chat's been awesome. So what we're actually going to do, instead of just stopping at the one lake, we're actually going to go a little bit longer. We're going to go to St. Croix. We're going to go up here to St. Croix. Just remind me when I get back, guys. i got to reset my rods.
Uh, I'm back, and the first thing I see is real putting a slug in chat. How dare you? This is a host of learned doctors, real. Oh, what I miss? Brute Gill. No, I'm totally remembering that. I'm calling them Brute Gills from on now. 100%. All right, um, we definitely don't want these setups for, you know what, I, I want to go, oh man, part of me wants to go old school and catch a uni muskie on a jig winner or a bass caster, but I don't think any of us want to see me fight a fish for half an hour for no reason. Um, let's just see here. Let's set up. Let's take the fire Zeus with a leader. I don't even know what I need at Michigan. Oh, apparently I haven't been there a ton since the reset. Oh, we do need little poles. And of course, that freaking tiger trout is going to be a pain when I go to do it. Could go after the uni tiger muskie. Be nice to get the two uni muskies, because I have not back there, been back there to get uni clear. Yeah. Freshwater drum. Interesting. Okay. So there's a few of the bigger fish we could go after, so let's go with, it's going to be overkill to do a Cazadora. Let's do cat boxers. Oh, you need white bass? That'd be pretty easy. Actually, let's do that. I'll do that one too. Um, I think I need my jig winner for that, but I can do it on another pole. You need white bass? Now, as soon as I say it, mark my words, I'm going to get jinxed. But actually, the uni white bass at Michigan is one of the easiest uniques to catch in the game. I know I just jinxed myself. I know I'm going to look like a butthead now because I said that. But it is. Can you do catfish at Santa Baker Sea one day for me? Catfish at Santa Baker Sea. Oh, I could go there quick and show you. Uni white bass. Sales basically a slug grows a house on his back. <laughs> uh. Oh no, we're going to be here for hours now. Yeah, I know. I jinxed myself real. I, I will go to Santa B Baker Sea for you, M, real quick because I can show you exactly what you do. Let's get the Nile Chaser hooked up quick but I'm having a lot of fun this stream so I don't want to end it just yet I want to go do a few things let's, let's go show up that and let's try to get them three uniques quick uh, Sander Bager see but no uni okay so the big thing with the uni up here is not only will it take time it will take time that's just how it is you want to do it from a boat. So if you have the Draco boat and you can throw out two rods, you're going to be much better with this. The Uni is, isn't hard to get out. It just takes time because you only can generally use one pole. And I'm going to show you where they really are good here. We're going to go out on the boat here quick and I'll show you. See, this boat doesn't... It's actually his boat. I wish it actually had rod holders. That'd be kind of cool. So you could cast from shore if you wanted. Um, so... See this big L here? This is where you're going to catch them in the deep part. But the best luck I always have is pretty much over here. So actually, we could go over... You don't, I guess you don't have to be in the boat, but you got to make sure you have heavy line or heavy sinkers to get out there. For example, I don't know if I have heavy sinkers on this. Let's see if I can get out that far. 
Um, but normally up here I use uh, frogs, duck mussel, or dead lombari. Crawfish work too up here. Let me just put something on just so I can see if I can cast out that far. Alright. The big head spot for XP and cash. Oh yeah, that's good too. I can do that real quick before we go. So is that it right there? No, nope, that's not it. It's over here farther. And you don't want to... <laughs> the fog is such a pain in the ass here. I forgot about that. When you do a bream here too, the fog can get really in your way. If you're if you're struggling with the uni though, you could do um, the frogs are probably what I use most. Nope, I didn't walk far enough. Oh, there it is. All right. But as long as you're getting to that deep part, M, you're gonna be you're gonna have a good chance at them. And I can't quite reach it with that pole. Oh, I wonder how far that is out. But if you have a Lacazadora, you can definitely get that far out. Cause this isn't even gonna be that far. It's gonna be like 200, I think. Yeah, wood 197. So with a Lacazadora, you can actually catch. Or you can cast like, oh, I can't remember. I think the La Casadora or a Spell Launcher all the way down you can do it with as long as you're using a, um, a Waggler. So instead of a Bobber, use one of the Wagglers for that. And then for the Big Heads, the Big Heads are good money XP. I have two Makanzis. I don't know if the Makanzis will reach. Just make sure you have the big sinkers on them. Uh, the biggest sinkers they can take. And then up here along the shore, everywhere out about 100 feet, you can see there's good big head spots. That's the biggest ever silver carp caught on PlayStation right there. That was caught on our stream, actually. Uh, Brian caught it. I literally showed Brian how to catch it, do oversized for silver carp, and he caught it on his first spotting out here. Uh, big heads are get a little bit bigger, but I think that's the mission with the leeches, isn't it? Or is that Tiber? You can. I did that mission at Tiber. Oh, I don't remember now. I might have done it here. I did it here. But the leeches aren't going to get a unique. I'm, or they might, but I've never caught a unique off of them. Test in the furthest one. Leeches are th is three different places. I oh, got you. Well, that's if you're spotting oversized M. I don't know if you know how to do that or not. Just like. Uh, this is an oversized one as well. They don't get to 95. Wells don't get to 95 normally here. So if you look at a leaderboard, I can almost guarantee you nobody's got a 95 on the leaderboard right now. And in fact, let's go look quick. I think 82 is the biggest they normally get. Without... Yeah, well, it's almost like I know this game. <laughs> yeah, last big one would have been during the Cats tour, yeah. Alright, so let's pop out. And we're going to go try to get at least some three unis. It'd be nice to get them three unis. Boy, it's been a long time since I actually caught a uni tiger muskie. <sighs> I 
In fact, why don't we put... Just for poops and giggles. Let's put a bigger one on. Oh, no. Let's do teeth. 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 Uh, we'll do two Makansis and two uh, Lacasadoras. Because I'm going to see... So if you guys didn't know, too, besides the pole being heavier or lighter, another way to tell how far stuff casts is how long the pole is. So the cat box is a shorter bottom rod, so it's generally not going to cast as far as even La Casadora. That even, even though La Casadora is a heavier pole, and generally heavier poles cast less, you'll see that this one will probably cast a lot farther. I do have the bigger sinkers on there, it looks like so. And actually, let's go ahead and put, uh, let's bait these right now. And then we're also, before I forget, I need to get ye old reels back in the ye old bag. Because uh, I have the Kraken and the 5500, so I gotta remember that. Uh, Kraken, 5500. Kraken. So I wanna put a, a 9000 in. An 8,000 and a 10,000. I should have five reels. So I always carry these extra reels, guys, and that's basically to mix up my Fire Zeus setup. My Zeus 810 or 270. Depends on if you're metric or not. You either really know this game or I'm psychic. I I don't know. I definitely am not. I, I, I might be a tiny bit of both, I guess. But I don't know. Caught a uni white bass right in front of the uni tiger musky spot. 77 Makanzi should cast the fireless. Let's go check because uh, I can't remember which one of the twos cast farther. I think it's... I thought it was the Lacasadoras, but I might be wrong on that. You might be right. It might be the Makanzis. It's been a while. I, uh... Alright, so... Reference the marker. Oh, it's, so it's right at that marker for... Makanzi. Yeah, so the Makanzi does cast farther, okay. And I'm guessing that will almost reach 300, so it would definitely get to that catfish spot, I'm thinking here. As long as it gets to like 250, 270, that can easily, and that wasn't even a full cast, what is that? 284, so yeah, it can cast about 300. And would they still get everything in real? Oh, yeah, the Makanzi, this, well, it's the best book bottom rod in the game. This is, yeah, you're, you're going to get everything in. Like I said, otherwise, if you use a float pole and put a waggler on, them cast the fire list. So if you use a spell launcher, uh, the closest one to, it's the smallest spell launcher, and you put the heavy waggler on it, you can cast over 400 some yards. So another third of what this pole can do. It's the fireless pole in the game that I can think of. And the spell launcher. or the, Because I have an X-Series one that I use a lot. Alright, so let's be dumb. Um, I need my mark. White bass. Shiders. But we're going to do... We're going to do twitch. We're going to twitch a little bit with these. White bass. So we got to go around the corner. And, uh, yeah, we'll go around the corner and set it up. Now watch me not catch this right away. Love the Congo poles, the Gar poles pull a 90 pound fish before, though. Oh, yeah, yeah. In fact, the Brutuses that I used at, uh... 
the Brutuses that I did use that you guys saw me use, them were the biggest fish in the game when the Trophy Gar could get up to 110. Uh, so the Brutuses is what we used to use for Gars all the time. Let's see, Stars and Stripes. All right. I don't even... I know I shouldn't even do this. It's going to make me eat my words so hard. My bottom rods are really too big to mess with this thing. Let's turn that reel down just in case I get a musky. Oh, there was one there. Am I at the right time? Watch this game totally make me eat my words. It's like normally the white bass and the... There's a white bass. Ah! White... I would say the uni Saka is probably the easiest uni to get in the game. You need bluegill at Naharan's pretty easy too. Other than that, I can't think. Well, you need now perch is easy too, but. Oh my god, Gabe, you're gonna make me eat my words. I knew this was gonna happen. making me eat my words all right the second i don't try of course it'll work though all right we'll go back to it but right now let's get 6-0 spinner tail um We could do this. I think my cast mark is right over there for clear. Yeah, uh, let's pop her down. <sighs> Boy, it's a long time since I caught one on bait, though. I'd almost want to catch one of these on large minnows. It's been so long. <laughs> I didn't see that in chat. You guys have to keep me make sure I'm seeing. Um, all right. Real seems like the type to hold it against you. Yeah, well, to be fair, I was going to hold the thing against him for, uh, 
uh, for the smallmouth buffalo. So honestly, yeah, you should hold it against me, a hundred percent. I don't, I don't disagree with you in the slightest. Because uh, I was gonna hold the Kamu Kamu and Jahari palm fruit thing against them, but the uni did come out. So <laughs> it's funny you bring that up, business. Yeah. My luck, I'll catch you on a damn spinner right away. Although, it's kind of hard to get this on a spinner from shore, because this thing does not cast that far. I should have brought my fetus, now that I'm thinking about it, like an idiot. Oh, that one's going to get bit. The farthest left one, it looks like, is going to get bit here. And maybe the third one in? It's hard to tell. I'm thinking this one's going to get a bite here. Well, it's not big. second I'm really gonna, really gonna push the limit here, guys. Oh, did I not bring my 55? That'll work. We're gonna go, we're gonna try to catch it on the Zeus. Might be a fun little fight. Alright. Whew. Uh, we're gonna go after the uni. We're I'm gonna get a uni clear musky here quick. Cursing and complaining is my favorite bait. Oh man, I might have to steal that. That's a good line. That's a really good line. Guaranteed lure right there. Yeah, I know. Cause when I what happens is we're in a we'll be in a tournament and I'll complain about how bad I'm doing, and then all of a sudden I'll be like second or first. <laughs> yeah, we we'll have to write all these ideas down. Also, oh, it's a cloudy day, that's why. Yeah, this guy will actually kind of be a little tough on the cloudy day. I normally like these on the sunny day. I don't think that one's very big either. This might be a little one. Watch me catch a 13-pounder today, too. Well, I'm not musky topping. Yeah, there's a 14. Oh, this one might be okay. Trophy, maybe? No, that's not a trophy. Uh, that might be a trophy, actually. Let's get these poles back in. 
We'll get to uni on this day. It'll just be a little bit slower. Oh, what I miss is Bitcoin feed always worth worth the purchase versus regular. I try to grab any new stuff as I level up. Oh, yeah, no, I don't ever use the bait coins for that. The only thing I use bait coins for is markers and barbless gear or like lures you can't get normally. <laughs> well, thanks, Ken Candy, for watching. We're gonna. Man, I almost want to switch the weather pattern to that sunny day. Speaking of lures, the blue multi piece fish, I, I've yet to catch anything with. Oh, this dual swim bait. $700 to replace my truck's key fab today. Note to self check pockets before washing laundry. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's rough. Oh, man. My truck's too old and don't have one of them. <laughs> That's cool. I know that sounds dumb, guys, but when I get these comments in chat like this, uh... You could be having a bad day, and I'll pop into a random lo uh, lo uh, lobby like this, and not not I'm having an awesome day today. I'm just saying when you're having a bad day and you're struggling on something, and I pop into a lobby and says thanks, your videos help a lot. That is so cool to me. That never gets old, ever. I mean, it never gets old. I need to start paying attention here a little bit, though. Unlike Rex's mom. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I want to get better with a deep rudder. <laughs> oh, I got you guys. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even see the... You guys slid that your mom joke in there real nicely. Kind of like I slide into Rex's mother. Yeah, the deep runner is tough. I, I, I don't use the deep runner a whole lot. Um, I just... I've never found a good use for it. Oh, man, the game is like, oh, we're going to, you want to catch three uniques? Well, we're going to spite the living crap out of you. All right, let's switch days here quick. Let's go back over, grab the boat. I'm just not a super big fan. You know what? We'll just go to the evening. This peak, this evening is a little bit better than the morning one anyway. Whew. And also with the boat, it makes it easier to go across the tiger spot. Actually, we could go for the... Actually, let's go for the tiger muskie. Uh, there's two spots to get it. Let's do it right here, actually. Yeah. I normally get it down here, so if you guys are wondering, but I want to try to get it here because you can get the regular muskie as well here. And we already have the uni muskie. I've caught all these fish, obviously, before, but since the reset, I need to catch them again. But I do have the uni regular muskie. I don't know why I caught it, but I did have it here.
And on this one, we don't need to cast out far. So I can actually, in fact, use, where are you? There you are. And I can do it on this pole. Tiger muskies are so pretty. Let me catch up here, guys. There we go. Man, it's been a while since I caught a uni tiger, though. It really has. Really don't like this cloudy day, but I want to get something from it. Oh, that right one's about ready to go off, I think. Sure, it's freaking a lot. Oh, why isn't that going? So I'm playing with it and then took off? Normally that's how you can tell is how much the line is moving, guys, if you're wondering. So it looks like the right one might get a bite soon, but I could be wrong. It's been a while since I've done that. Could be the minnow just freaking out in general on its own. Yeah, left line is definitely active as well, Rob. It's weird, too, because some days a cloudy day. Obviously, it's slower, but sometimes it's pretty crazy fast. But definitely, clearly not right now. Tigers. Oh, give me one second. All right. Coming out, but they're small. 13 2. Boy, did I call out getting a 13 pound muskie. That would literally would win. Let me go see. What was that? 13, what was it? 13 2 4. Thirteen two oh my god guys. I would <laughs> I just caught a muskie that would have won it, Ginger. No, I was just goofing around. Oh, I did not see that guy talk to me. Oh, that might be the uni tiger, though.
Oh, it might be the regular, though. I couldn't see it real well. Yeah, it's just a regular muskie. <laughs> thirteen two three thirteen two three nine thirteen let me go look again because I thought it was like thirteen two eight thirteen two three eight yeah damn yeah that would have good him a musky topping A <laughs> nice canoe, Kenny. <laughs> three. So I wouldn't have won it, but I've been really close. Yeah, the winner was three two 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 five. Yeah. But that goes to show you, like when I got here, I'm like, yep, I'm gonna catch a thirteen pound muskie, and then I caught it right on the dot. Oh my God, I've had enough of this weather pattern. Ugh, I just talked crap, came here, and the game is like, no, this is not how that works. Oh, it'd be interesting, I haven't tried this one in a while. It's been a long time since I just fished Michigan for the hell of that, actually. We'll do here for a little bit. I can't actually stay on forever, guys, because I do actually have to mow my yard today. I forgot about that. Oh, it's partly cloudy, yeah. Yeah, this is a different weather pattern, yeah. This one should be better, but watch me eat my words like the game's eating, making me eat every word so far at Michigan. Crest will be there tomorrow. Yeah, but I won't. <laughs> I got to work on uh, more background stuff, too. Uh, for you guys that don't know, I've been big project coming up on the Farm Simulator series, and I've been was working on it all day today, and I got to work on it most of the day tomorrow, too. This will always be the best fishing sim. I still have a copy of Rapallo Fishing. And <gasps> oh, yeah. Well, we got something half decent. Trophy regular musky? Yeah. It's like I know. <laughs> Yeah, I've never really played a whole lot of other fishing games, Rob. It's my favorite thing to do, Rob, on the game, honestly, is I like trying to guess what the fish are. I know that sounds dumb. It's probably a little tiger. Oh, a little common, or a regular musky. Yeah. Hard to tell when you have two similar species though on one spot, like a tiger and a regular musky. Uh, wait a second here. 
this is a common common tiger yeah that one could have also been a northern pike too because once in a while they'll bite you too musky fight harder than pike to me oh yeah Bassmaster game from 20 to 21 was freaking awesome till the first patch and it all went to hell. Never tried that one either. Yeah, so in real life, a guy caught one, a tiger muskie, which is like one of the rarest fish ever to catch in, in uh, real life because they're sterile. Once they breed like that, they don't, you know, once they get bred like that, they don't breed again. So tiger muskie are always a one-off. Um, but a guy did catch one at Rice Lake, I guess. Uh, the lake that I fish at in real life a lot. Had some Japanese fishing game on. We loved it. Oh, yeah. The Wii can be fun. Like, uh, I'm not a big drinker, but when I used to drink once in a great while, uh, the Wii is fun for drinking. But outside of that, my my happy butt wants to be not exercising when I play games. <laughs> Everywhere here? Oh, really? Oh, I was not paying attention to miss that. Arcade fishing games? I have not tried that. For regular musky or tiger musky, Kelly? Oh, got you, Tyler. Oh, got you. They stock them there? Yeah. I shouldn't have said nothing, guys. I, I totally jinxed myself coming here. Holy crap. The problem is, is when I go back, Rob, and I play the old games, like I do it once in a while, outside of, like, Pokemon and whatnot, the old games, they don't hold the test of time like I like them. You know, I liked them, obviously, when they were out. When I go back and I play them again, I don't seem to like them as much as I thought I remembered doing it. Because compared to new, yeah, compared to the new games, it's like, you know, like, for example, there was, uh, on Super Nintendo, there was a one called Nigel Manson's Racing, it was like F1 Racing, I loved it, and then I went back and played it, I was like, this is terrible, <laughs> I like, I don't know why I liked it, or like, when I first started playing, the first game I can remember playing is Pong on, um, Pong on the Atari 2600. And, uh, I remember playing it for like four hours the first time. Could you imagine sitting there looking at a couple blocks for five hours, four or five hours? Oh, I need to pay attention. I keep getting hits here. Apart from Mario. Oh, and I agree, uh, Mario. Yeah, Mario holds up. Especially Nintendo and Super Nintendo Mario. Completely agree with you. Oh, 
let's pop on ye old where's ye old boat we'll try a couple casts in the clear musky spot here First game I played Centipede, then Pong. First game I owned Mario was over for going outside to play. Yeah, see, I was the opposite. You guys know me as playing a lot now. I, I didn't play a whole lot of games when I was younger. Um, we were always kicked out of the house and made to play outside. And also grew up on the farm, so there was, you know, grew up around the farm. So it was obviously we were busy with that, too. Oh, come on. That was that was definitely the trophy, or at least, or uh, uni, or at least a trophy. That was a good one. I'm so old. I played Pong. It was its own console. Oh, nice. Have any of you watched the Mario movie? No, I desperately want to see it though. I am a hundred percent. little guy here I need money I don't know how to get you money Kenny because get in the game uh, you can't transfer money Farm kids better work ethic. Uh, us city kids wanted to eat and play the game. Oh, I wanted to play the games too, but I just couldn't. <laughs> I definitely would have played a lot. Is it good, Em? I really do want to see it. This might be the worst fishing I've done in Michigan in years. I never struggle like this at Michigan. Someone knows they dropped a new update? No, no, I n no ideas yet. If you're talking about the Fishing Planet one. This game is like, just saying, screw off, Dave. Let me out. I'm a peacock. You gotta let me fly. Um. 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 We'll throw in a little bit over here, just for shits and giggles. But I will probably have to go within the next half an hour, guys, because I still have to mow the yard, um, fly to space, uh, punch Thor. I had a lot to do on my list. <laughs> Yankee. Oh, I'm so glad you got that. I'm so glad you got that reference, Kelly. Like, half of my life, what you guys don't see... Half of my life is quoting Will Ferrell movies. Vote for Tron. Ooh. I... Hmm. That's a good debate. Because if you guys don't have kids... If you had kids, you would understand Wreck-It Ralph was a pretty good gaming movie. What the hell? Oh, that's not my... Um... 
I'm trying to think what other ones are good. I don't know. I did really like the original Mario movie a lot. Yeah, other guys and stepbrothers are like half my quotes. Like, I don't think you were here yesterday or earlier, Kelly, when I was talking about this is a house of learned doctors. It's like one of my favorite quotes to use. Yeah, wreck it with Ralph. Yeah, it's good, especially good if you have uh, kids. It's a good kids movie. Didn't enjoy Sonic. I did not get a chance to watch Sonic. Uh, not that this is, is in the same thing, but it, you guys just made me think of how much I liked the original Flintstones movie, too. Turtle, oh, ni yeah, Ninja Turtles holds a movie for, yeah, that's not a bad one. Corn Dogs, Jackie's Corn Dogs. <laughs> I always keep thinking people are talking in chat. It's, uh, you, so, see this box to the left here, the chat box? That's actually where your guys' chat pops up on my TV as well, on my screen. So, like, right now it's got Kelly's comment. Have you seen Grun? That's right in that spot, so I can't actually see that. Have you seen uh, Grandma's Boy? I don't think so. The problem is, is if it was made in the last... 13 years or 15 years we had a drive-in movie theater my family owned and I spent a lot of time there so I've seen almost every movie made in the last 13 years now if I can remember or not that's a different thing bought some VHS tapes of the first three Pokemon movies now I just need to figure out how many ad adapters and converters I need to actually run it with a modern TV that's such a good point <laughs> I was uh my pickup has uh, the factory CD and cassette tape, and I was thinking about how I'd like to get my cassettes back in there for my old, like, so this will make you guys laugh, but I listen to, I like all music, but I particularly like 50s and 60s country, and also some rock, but I'm a big fan of Johnny Horton. My favorite tape is my Johnny Horton's Greatest Hits tape. Oh, there's something decent there. What is that? Oh, it's not that decent. I just forgot this is a lot Casador. It's a lot lighter pole, so it bounces around a lot more. Probably a trophy tiger. Oh no, common regular muskie. So about the right weight, this is a different fish. Uh must watch. Adam Sandler, he's not in it. Don't watch it, the kids, but watch the underrated. Wait, what did I miss? Oh, great. Oh, that's Adam. All right. Now, this is going to make you laugh, Kelly, because as big of a Adam, or as a big of a Will Ferrell fan as I am, and I love Will Ferrell, I cannot stand Adam Sandler. I know that makes no sense at all, and I can't figure it out either, but he annoys the living crap out of me. The only movies I like by him are the ones that nobody else likes. I like The Youngest Yard and Click. The movie where, the one where he's got the, it got the uh, remote to go back in time. How we doing? We're all hopefully staying well and safe. I'm doing good, Sammy. How are you doing? Little Nicky was good. I, I'm not as big on that. I get why people like it. It's just my weird... I don't know. I like Dumb and Dumber. I liked Will Ferrell. I just cannot get... Sam Adam Sandler has this weird... To me, a weird narcissistic vibe about him. Four year old game tester. Oh, okay. I might try I might have to watch that that one there. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. 
I I know I should know that m movie, but I'm sure that's an older movie, and I probably can't remember it offhand. Oh my God! What has happened to all these fish? I talk crap as I go to Michigan, and the game is like, no fish for you. I'm not sure what you mean, Roma. Do it well. I think new update come out, and I don't think Adam is funny. Oh. As well. Drove Red Ferrari through the glass garage. <gasps> Skipping school movie. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, this might be a trophy. No. Man, that was close to a trophy. Well, how big do they get without being trophy? That's got to be close. Because I think 13 is... I think 13 is a trophy. In fact, I think like 12-8 is a trophy. Um... Oh, I gotta go to common to see where they switch. Nope, wrong button. Thirteen, okay, yeah, they switch at thirteen. I actually don't love comedy movie films, to be honest. Oh, okay. So what type of movies do you watch? Um, I'm a grunge baby. I used to play guitar in a... Oh, got ya, Kelly. Sounds like a Mr. Fidget. No, I wouldn't say that, Em. It's not for everybody. Today's kind of... Comedy is kind of okay, but the older kind has a feeling of being raw. Yeah, I do agree with that. Like, I don't know that there'll ever be a dumb and new Dumb and Dumber. Like, as good as original. I mean, Step Brothers is about as close as you're going to get to Dumb and Dumber. Yeah, it's funny, Rob. We just watched Smokey and the Bandit like two weeks ago. In that movie, a lot of movies don't always hold the test of time, but that movie definitely does. I'm not a big Burt Reynolds fan, but uh, my first car was a 78 Trans Am, which the movie is uh, its supposed to look like a 77. It's actually a 76 with a 77 front clip, but... Um, that was basically my first car. I had, a, I had a brown one. Yeah, I had a 400 in it. And uh, it was my mom's old one. She had like four or five of them Trans Ams total. That was her favorite car. And uh, had T-tops. But the T-tops aren't as cool on them cars as you think. Because if you have any power whatsoever, and not even that much... Like, I had a 400 in it, and there wasn't even that much power, um, because it was a stock one, and it, and it crinkled the T-tops. So the T-tops is part of the unibody on them, on them cars. So the, I, ne, the next one I get will not have T-tops in it. Because then, once you crinkle the T-top, the thing in between the t-tops they, they always leak and they're a pain in the butt oh space balls i gotta watch that one again it's been a long time 66 chevelle that's a nice one too i want to rebuild a budget 77 78 look the same as a movie oh nice 69 gtx wow a lot of people had some nice cars to start with and then my favorite one i've ever had i don't know I had a 66 F100 I really like. Um, I really like my 
my new truck, and I say new truck, but I've had it 10 years, but I have a, you guys have probably seen pictures of it on the channel before, it's, uh, it's my work truck, it's the one I haul with, it's a 2000 F350 7.3 King Cab Long Box Dually, and I love that truck. Ooh, not shabby. And uh, it's not because I think the 7.3 is the most powerful motor of all time. I'm not one of them guys. I do like its power, but I like its reliability. It is so reliable. Um, if, if you guys watch... I can't remember. It's around episode 10 of the series. I'd have to... I'd have to look, but I have a... I have a... God damn it. It's the one where I think I get the Bobcat. Anyway, I have pictures of the real truck in real life in it. Actually, it's in the, the, I forgot, it's on the, the picture of that truck is in the face reveal video, guys. It's one, of, it's like the second picture you see, that's my truck on the left. GM said to have their last real vehicles in 99 to 2004, according to some locals. I'm not a fan of the computers and everything. See, how Tommy Boy was a classic flick, too. Totally agree with you on that one. I still do the Niner shit from that movie. Oh my gosh. Holy crap, it's already 3.30. Alright, well guys, I am going to clean up my poles here. Let's switch over. I did not realize, how long have we been streaming? About three hours. Yeah. So, you guys have had... This was an awesome stream. This is one of my favorite streams I ever do. I like doing the tournament streams where a lot of people are watching, but I really like these ones where we are... Where we're super interactive and talking and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So, what I'm going to do, guys, here is... I'm going to call it here, but just remember... Next Friday, I'll do a long stream. I don't know how long, but it'll be a real long stream. I'll try to make it a long one. And you guys, thanks for possibly the best stream I've ever had. Um, and not because of the donations, just because this chat was super awesome and fun the whole time. All right, you folks have a wonderful day, and we'll see you next time, guys.